Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial we will learn about what is the template driven forms and how we can use them. So these are the points of the video. We will see what is a template driven form as an theoretical part. Then we have to import the uh, template driven forms inside the app dot component. Then we have to write some code inside the component dot HTML for making a HTML form. Then we will collect this complete data inside the component dot TS file with making a function. All right. So now the first question is that what is the template driven form? So when you have a very basic form, like you just have the two or three fields and you just want to get simple data, then we have to use the template driven forms. They are not very complex. They are very simple to use. All right. And the most of the code are written inside the component.html file. All right. Rather than in the reactive forms, which we will learn after some videos, uh, these codes are written in the component.ts file. All right. So now let's start. So first of all, we have to import the forms inside the app.model. So let's just uh, go inside the SRC and app folder and just go open on the app.model.ts file. All right. So just import forms here, like import something from uh, Angular and forms. All right, and just get the form model from here, like forms module, and use this form model inside the import array, like this. All right, so now your complete app module is easily accessed this form module. All right, that's okay. So we can just close this file. Now let's open the app dot component dot html file and just write here some code for html form. So just write here uh, form and just take some inputs like text and let's take one more input like password and let's take a button also and button can be you, you can just make it some text like login because we have a two fill so just we can write a login this is not a complete login but we can just put the name here all right so let's define the button type so type can be submit that's all so now we have to just put uh, some id to this form so just we can simply use here user form here you can see that all right and after that we can just simply write here ng form okay so this uh, directive will be used by our form and now we can just uh, make a submit event here and as you know we are using the event inside the brackets so let's define the uh, ng submit event inside the brackets and just make a function it on submit like this all right and it will just take a parameter and value from user form dot value all right it's not value it's value it's my bad okay now please keep in mind when you are using a temple driven frame your field must have at least a name all right so just put a name like uh, email and you can just put here password as a name of the second field all right that's perfect so let's try to uh, get this data but now you are getting a, a problem okay so this is not looking fine so first of all let's make some br tag here all right like here so now this is looking fine all right so let's define the on submit function inside the app dot component dot ts file so just define this function data as in parameter and just show a console dot log or console dot one as in data but for a moment you are not getting the data here i will show you why so let's put a name like anil the red test dot com password one two three four five when you just want to get the data you are not able to get the data why because for that you must have to register here or you must have to use your ng model why we have to use ng model because ng model will bind your this field to the your uh, html form all right and send the data as in value all right so just use here ng model only on one field now let's try what's going on just use here uh, one two three and four password now you can see that you are just able to send only one field all right 
so let's apply on the both field as you much have any field you have to just uh, use the ng model with the every field you must have to just keep in mind that now you can see that you are able to get the data from the both fields all right so thanks for watching this video in the upcoming video we will see the lots of about the template driven class uh, forms like uh, how you can just simply put the validations and how you can just get the pre-filled form and customize validation and also thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe channel and like this video